Hey Sagittarius, I'm back out with another video. Yes, 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 yes. We are in mid month of September, and guys, we are currently in a <laughs> Mars retrograde. Okay, and it's retrograding in the sign of Aries. Okay, so you guys may be feeling a little sluggish or um, are as you know ready to take action on certain projects or things. But this energy isn't going to linger around for too long. I think the the ending period where it goes direct is like November the 13th or something around that, that time frame. But we got the Ace of Swords that wanted to jump out for you. The Ace of Swords is gaining clarity on the situation or getting the truth. Hold on, guys. Let me get something to drink. Because my voice, my voice is so cracky. So cracky and it's so not cute. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, I know my nails are ugly. I know. All right, so let's see. We're talking about you, how you feel about your person, and how your person feel, feels about you. And then we're going to pull it all together. Um, the Seven of Cups want to come out too. So somebody has some options. Okay, so let's look. Maybe you're trying to find out if somebody has options. But we're going to look at how your person views you first. And then we'll go to how you view them. So let's see how your person views you. <clears throat> Sagittarius person. How does Sagittarius person view Sagittarius? Page of Pentacles. And you know what I thought about, too? Your person could be trying to find out. Yeah, your person could be trying to find out if you have other options. Yeah. And there we go again with that uh, Ace of Swords. So your person is trying to gain some clarity or get some insight. Trying to get some insight on a situation. They're trying to find the truth out. Somebody could have been working from home. I'm hearing that, too. But let's talk about what we got right here in front of us. All right. So the first card that jumped out was the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Pentacles is talks about money, your finances. You know, it's kind of like small talk or a small offer. Um, but nonetheless, it is communication. It talks about money. Okay. They are heavily spying on you. Or they feel like you're spying on them or watching them. But I feel like they're watching you because this is how they view, how they feel about you. And we got the high priestess. Like the high priestess is Pisces' energy, but their intuition is telling them like to snoop on you. Like they're snooping, they're spying on you. Like they got a hunch about something. Like, like they're trying to figure something out about you. Maybe you've been talking in secret. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Hermit. So they feel like you're very secluded. Like you're being secretive. So they feel like they have to spy. Right, the Hermit card. You could be dealing with the Virgo. But they feel like you're very distant. Um, What's the Hermit here? The Fool. And the Eight of Swords. They're afraid to kind of like bother you. The Eight of Swords and the Fool. So this is why they are spying. Yeah, see, look. They feel like you're talking to other people. We got the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Cups. All right, they, have, they feel like you're talking to other options. Like you have some other stuff going on. Like, I'm not sure if it's like a third party or, ooh, right when I said third party, this wanted to jump out. Okay, Three of Swords. With the Queen of Cups, yeah, and the Empress. So, 
with the Empress, the Queen of Cups, and the Three of Swords here, there could definitely be like a third party. This person could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Empress is someone that, you know, the Empress is very beautiful and very loving. And she's very abundant. And, you know, Empressy energy, you know? And this Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is very loving, caring, you know, energy. Why is this? I want to know why they're spying on you. Why is the paper swords here? Oh, there we go. The two of pentacles. The two of pentacles, they feel like you're juggling. They feel like you're juggling. They feel like you got something else going on. Yep. They're spying, okay? They're spying on you. Um, They could be spying on you for your resources and your money with the king of pentacles yeah the nine of cups someone wants somebody's money or wants somebody <laughs> like i'm just getting like you guys could be you know doing y'all thing and they want to know what's going on the knight of wands yeah they feel like you kind of like are being a player five of swords yeah this they're jealous they're jealous why is the Ten of Cups here? They feel like you're in a relationship on the side. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Yep, the Three of Cups. Mm-hmm. They feel like it's a third party, I'm telling you. And they feel like this third party could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio woman, or someone who's very, you know, like, give off that watery energy. And there we go again with that Empress. There we go. Queen of Pentacles. So I'm getting three people here. Three of Cups, three people. Yeah, this feel, they feel like this is where all your attention is going. Yeah, and we'll see with the two of cups. Mm -hmm. They feel like this is where your attention is going. Like you're not, you know, you're not paying them any attention because you got other things going on. All right, so the high priestess is here. Intuitively, yeah, we got cancer's energy. You could be dealing with a cancer, but their intuition is telling them like you're doing something. You know, we got the devil card here. The devil card is Capricorn's energy. But this is like obsession, possessiveness. This is, uh, you know, uh, lust. And the emperor, yeah. Like, I'm getting, like, older. Maybe you're older than this person. But, like, I'm getting, like, somebody who's very controlling and obsessed or possessed, possessive. Ooh, manipulating somebody's mind controlling somebody they feel like this person has control over your mind why is the chariot card here temperance you guys is energy um yeah like they're disappointed they're disappointed mm -hmm. yeah they're disappointed and they want you to move on from this person leave this person behind why is the six of swords here and the page of cups some of y'all may be like um, if you live with this person, someone could be moving out or moving to another space to talk, to communicate with this person and flirt with this person. Page of Cups is flirty energy. Yeah. And the King of Swords. Yeah. In private. I'm getting like, <laughs> I'm getting like, really, I'm getting like, this person feels like they're spying on you. They feel like you got something else going on and they want to figure it out. They want to know. So how do you view this person? How does Sagittarius view their person? Ooh. How does Sagittarius view their person? We got the two of cups that wanted to jump out. Okay. See, we got the knight of cups and the sun card and the ten of wands jumped out too. Okay, but I'm getting like done with the ten of wands and the eight of cups. It's like someone saying that they're done. Okay. You may feel like this person is like avoiding um avoiding this like avoiding the fact that you may be like checking out of this situation like you've checked out i feel like you've checked out there's some things that need to be resolved 
there's some unresolved issues here and that's why i feel like maybe you checked out you've been waiting for this person to love you yep the lovers and the king of cups you've been waiting for this person to love you but you know you may feel like this person is greedy um but the devil and the ace of pentacles you may feel like they're greedy yeah the ace of the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles you feel like this person may be like a gold digger or they're greedy yeah why is the two of cups here the strength card some of you guys it's a leo that you're dealing with um I feel like you've been trying to you you tried to work to work on this connection on this situation but there's just like this five of swords energy that's just it's just very very i'm getting like somebody has control issues or somebody's father is involved but i'm getting like this is manipulation energy Okay, like, you may feel like this person is trying to manipulate you into being together or being in a relationship or trying... Why is the Eight of Pentacles? You try to tell this person... Why is the Magician here? I feel like you want some affection from this person. You're tired of going back and forth. You're tired of going back and forth. Okay, this person could possibly make you feel like rejected or left out in the cold. And I, I'm getting like, there's a, possibly a lack of affection. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Yeah, the Justice card and the Knight of Cups. So you may want to... Um, Why is the Justice card here? The Six of Wands. Okay. For some, ooh, ooh. For some of y'all, for some of y'all, this could be a marriage, okay? With the Four of Wands and the Death card, some of you may want to <clears throat> may want a divorce or may want to separate with the six of pentacles this is saying like to get a divorce or to separate but why is the six of wands here yeah see y'all want yeah Ooh. i do feel like some of you guys some of y'all not everybody you know, this could be friends, this would be hanging out, drinking, you know, a little bit of, you know, just partying and hanging out. But for some of you, this is a third party situation that I feel like you're getting more attention. You're getting more attention there. And I feel like you want to leave with the eight of cups. Sorry if you hear my neighbors, guys. I feel like you want to leave. And with the ace of wands, you want something new. I feel like you want to leave i feel like you want to leave well yes yeah, see the six of swords yes yeah, some of y'all are ready to leave this situation some of y'all ready to leave yeah this is something that's been you possibly been contemplating for a long time with the knight of pentacles you may have been you know dragging your feet taking your time on the situation kind of like you know analyzing you know, looking at everything, looking at all the aspects. But this thing has kind of been, you know, on the rocks possibly for a minute. Why is the sun card here? Two of wands. Yeah, you're ready. Oh, gosh. You guys are, uh, you guys, with the two of wands, you're looking ahead in the future, okay? And you're ready for some fun. You're ready uh, to be for things to, you know, the situation to become more positive. Or you're ready to leave. See, we got the chariot card here. That's Cancer's energy, but that's forward movement and progression. I feel like 
You're tired of faking it. Why is the two of wands here? Yeah, the knight of wands. You're ready to have some fun. You're tired of being, you're tired of this situation. But see, that's the thing about Sagittarius. Y'all so flamboyant. See, what they ain't realizing. Yeah, see, you're trying to avoid. This is somebody who's wounded, who's beat up, who's who went through it. This is somebody who's going through it. The seven of wands and the nine the nine of wands, yeah. Like you've been through a lot with this person, with this situation. And I feel like y'all already, like I said, y'all might be telling somebody that you want out. Okay, we got the hierophant and the ten of swords. For some of you that, that are possibly married, somebody could you could be like telling this person that you want out or you want to separate. If you do do that, if this is us, we got the Empress and the Ace of Cups and the Star, someone could say that they're pregnant, okay? There could be a pregnancy <clears throat> on the horizon, like someone saying like, oh, no, Norby, please, I'm a child. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But let's pull this story together. Let's see what we get. Sagittarius, give me a, a reading for my Sagittarius, please. Give me a read for Sagittarius, please. For the remainder of September. Ooh. All right, we got Queen of Pentacles. All right. I like that too. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Two of Wands, the Four of Wands. Okay, so you're looking for security. Like, you want something that's more stable and secure. All right, we got the tower. The five of wands. Ooh, okay, so there could be a big shakeup. This could be involving an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or there could be, like, an issue with money or a big blow up about finances. With the magician here, maybe you want to make a solid decision, Okay. The justice card, yeah, see. And then we got the hangman. So there's a standstill. Why is the queen of pentacles here? Ooh. The temperance card, you guys' is energy. But I feel like this is more so of you wanting stability. Like, you want things to be stable. And I do feel like, ooh, see, with the king of cups and the lovers, that's nothing but pure love. But when I see this seven of swords here... The Seven of Swords is faking, okay? Maybe y'all been faking it for a while. And this is like the tip of the iceberg. Um, yeah, see the Two of Cups clarifying the tower. Like this relationship has, you know, <clears throat> is really on the rocks, okay? I'm getting mother and children. So this is for a lot of you, this could be a baby mother and a baby father because I did see the emperor. Why is the five of wands here? Ooh, the nine of swords. This this situation is really, really, um, it's stressful. With the three of swords, I feel like some people's hearts are breaking. I feel like there could possibly even be a third party involved. We got the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this this is needed. This is needed. This is very much so needed. Yeah. Maybe you've been giving this person chance after chance to get this right. Why is the magician here? Okay. Children could definitely be involved with the Six of Cups. Um, I'm getting like making up a sob story. I'm getting it. Like I'm hearing it. Um, why is the Justice card here? 
And I'm getting like starting paperwork. For some of y'all, you guys have already been contemplating on starting paperwork. And this is for the ones that are married and contemplating like, you know, it's time for us to split. It's time for a separation. It's time for, you know, it's time for us to part because I do see a separation with the four of swords and the six of swords. Like this is someone that is wanting to separate. Somebody here started some paperwork already. I'm getting like making an announcement. Why is the six of cups here? Yeah, to get back together with the six of cups and the three of cups. For some of you, you're dealing with the Libra. Okay, because I got the justice card here. But I feel like I'm hearing like making an announcement um, or making a status about getting back together. Why is the hangman here? Maybe this person is getting on Facebook and why is the hangman here? Ooh, yeah, see, I got y'all, there's a standstill moment with the hangman, like, you know, that's, that's kind of like, you know, I'm contemplating, I'm in contemplative mode, kind of like a delay, but I definitely do see, like, somebody moving on with the six of swords and the ten of pentacles, why is the ten of pentacles, somebody's possibly moving in with family, um, so they can save money, with the four of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. But I'm definitely seeing like a separation. A, a break period. Yes, like the lovers. Maybe <clears throat> this person gives you an ultimatum on choose who you want to be with. Choose who you want to be with. And there was this big brawl, the emperor, the ace of swords. And the ten of swords, yeah. There was some type of betrayal here. Or somebody, or you could want this person to stop telling a, a older person, a father figure, a grandfather, or someone that's older. Like you may want them to stop t communicating with them and telling them you guys this business about your relationship um, with the lovers and the two of cups. Maybe this is why what caused this big blow up here. Um, maybe you were trying to prevent that here with the temperance card. I got the star card. Like, I'm getting a pray, praying. You were praying on this situation. You prayed on this situation already. King Cups. You prayed on this situation. And I, but to be honest, the King Cups and the Seven of Cups, y'all had some off, y'all had some different options. Y'all had some different, a bunch of different things going on. And this is how some of y'all are, you know, realizing that. This could be best for you to be single, okay, and work on yourself. Yep, you got to work on you. On you. You wanted, possibly wanted to tell this person that, but you may not, you know, not knew how to tell this person that. Ooh, the devil and a five of swords, a straight snake, a snake. Okay, so there's a snake here. The devil and the five of swords, very much so. Like, there is someone that is a snake, a flat-out snake. Queen of Wands could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But, ooh, baby, that is a snake. Why is the devil and the five of swords here? That is definitely, like, ooh, a, a ooh, devil in disguise. Somebody plotting on somebody, being malicious. Yeah, it's like, tell the truth. Okay, maybe you feel like I told the truth, but it didn't get me nowhere. So there could be a snake in the middle of this situation. But, ooh, ooh, this is heavy, y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Um, if you want to book your very own personal reading, guys, information is in the drop box below, okay, on how to contact me. 
to book your own personal reading. The Money Magnet Oil is sold out, but you can pre-order because they will be it will be um, back in stock next week, okay? So, until next time, guys. Ciao.